man of God. And that is why I've come to you first. You at least should know that Chief Anaba is evil. Which Anaba? Father, are there two Chief Anabas in India? Of course not, there's just one. For your own safety, I hope you don't repeat such things outside. That building there is our new church building. The money comes from the pocket of a man you call evil. If Chief Anaba is the devil incarnate, like you make him out to be, how come he's building that church? Father, open your eyes. Open your eyes. That man has stolen the entire world of the people of Umdiago and needs to be destroyed. And I need you to do that. If you are looking for who to drag to death with you, you've come to the wrong place. If Chief Anaba is evil, like you say, then let God judge him. Father! 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 Oh, you are afraid! You are afraid of him because of all the money he shot upon you! You are afraid! I wish you know the source of that money! You will sit down here and listen to me! You will sit down here and listen to me! Alright! You, you bloody bastards! You, you bastards! If you don't want to help me do it, then I will do it my own way! You bastard! evil. Are you the one to stop me? With that horn in your hand? Destruction awaits those who refuses to repent of their evil deed. What you have done must be undone now! And then, my friend, a foolish man you are, a foolish man you will always be. You think the best way to kill a man is to badge into his house, bearing a horn filled with some harmless native concussions. The time has come for us to know if the concussion I bear is harmless or not. Die! 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 Die!
let you live so that you can see the futility in fighting what is bigger than you. Women organization. Reverend Father John Bosco. Oh, Father, happy to meet you. You're welcome to our parish. God bless you. And bless you too, Father. Women leader, St. Monica. Reverend Father John Bosco. Oh, Father, you are highly welcome to our parish. Yes, God bless you. Bless you, Father. Women leader, Sacred Heart organization. Reverend Father John Bosco. My pleasure, Father. You are welcome to our parish. These are the representatives from the Great Palace. Reverend Father John Bosco. You are welcome to our parish. God bless you, Father. God bless your parish. You are welcome. God bless you. Women Leader, Charismatic Leader Organization. Reverend Father John Bosco. Glad to meet you, Father. God bless you. And Father John, this is our most prized position. Easily the most important person in this community. Chief Anaba. Chief, as I'm leaving for transfer, Reverend Father John Bosco replaces me. You're welcome, Father John Bosco. I hope you will have a pleasant stay in this parish. God bless you. Our woman, Treasurer, Reverend Father John, John Bosco. Father, you're welcome. I'm happy to see you. Now let's go in and have a reception. There's the voice of one crying in the wilderness, saying, Make straight the word of God. I don't understand, Father. In time. In time. Come here! 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 Come here!
Yeah, Father. And what might this be for? For anything the church wants. 500,000 Naira? Just a paltry sum, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. But the church does not need anything now. You don't understand, Father. This is like tradition to me. I give money to the church at the beginning of each month. Your predecessor, Father Gabriel, receives my gift with thanksgiving. I am not my predecessor. And I will not receive money from men of questionable income. I find that insulting, Father John Bosco. It might be. But until I ascertain what you do for a living, other than dashing up money. <laughs> I will not receive any money from you. It's all right, Father. There is no need for a quarrel here. It's just a blessing of God on me that I want to pass through you to the church. But if that's the way you feel about it, it's all right. But in case the church needs anything, don't hesitate to call on me. I come home every weekend. Thank you, Father. Chambers. I am Ashira. The feminine spirit is the messenger of the Grand Master. What is your desire, faithful one? A new priest has been transferred to the parish, and he seems to know all about me. An enemy he is, but you are Amadillo. No one can touch you. He must be destroyed. What, what must I do? His vestments. Get his vestments. Put them in a coffin and burn them. That is the only way you can get rid of the famine he represents. But, but those are his clothes. They'll be difficult to get. Get them you must. If you do not, he will tear you and all you have labored for all these years. Get them you must. Help me. 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 Help me.
Help me. Help me. Help. 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 Who are you? Please help me. My name is Anene. Where help. are you from? I'm from Ndiagu village. Water, please. Water. 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 Uh. Sorry. Sorry. Uh. Sorry, sir. Sir, he's coming. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, chair. for you. Come around. Come in. You're a little bit uneasy, you know. There's no need to be. I just want to ask you a little question. You still serve mass, don't you? I do, sir. Good. Then you must have access to where the new parish priest puts his robes. Yes. I want his robes. He will bring them out for me. What do you need his robes for, sir? That is a surprise for both the priest and everybody else. You must bring the brook. Nobody must see you and nobody must hear about it until I tell you so. And if you succeed in bringing it out without anybody seeing you, I'll give you more of this. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. And try and bring it before Friday so that we can return it before Mass on Sunday. Yes, sir. Anything in return. Uh, ah! sorry, sorry. Please take it easy. Yes. Uh, uh, our world is a dangerous world to live in. And there are many more like him. They give and we reach. Ah! Sorry. Take it easy. Take it easy, please. Uh, they give. And we receive without knowing that we are giving out the natural luck God gave to us. You see, Chief Araba, I have vowed with, to expose him with the last drop of my blood. You have to get well first. You are not in a position to wrestle with a one-handed chimpanzee, not to mention Chief Anaba. 
I will recover. Ah! Oh, is it? Uh, 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 I will recover. God will help me to recover. But you see, Chief Adaba, I must certainly expose him for the fraud that he is. in my bedroom by this time of the night, young man? I hope you don't want me to repeat myself. No, sir. Mm, sir, I was... I, I didn't... Let me have that back! And what is my sultana doing in this bag? Sir, please. Please, sir. It was Chifanaba. Chifanaba said that I should get it for him, that he was preparing a surprise for you, Fala. A surprise? Yes, sir. Father, please. I hope you won't report me, sir. Please, Father, if you report me, I'll be sent out of the seminary. Please. And my dad will kill me. Please. Have mercy. All right. Put it back where you got it from. Now get back to your room. And I will see to this later. I thought you didn't want to have anything to do with me. What are you doing in my house? What do you want with my clothes? Your what? You have not only sentenced the people of this land to perpetual poverty. You have now decided to corrupt their young men into being thieves. Father, I honestly don't understand what you are talking about. On Sunday, I'm going to preach a sermon. I'm going to tell the people what you have done to them. I'm going to show them the things the Lord has revealed to me. You will do no such thing, Father. Whatever I have done, I have done for the good of my people. Whatever you have done, you have done for the good of your pocket. And only your pocket. Father, we can discuss this inside. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> beyond your wildest dreams. Money you cannot even begin to imagine. Think of it, Father. 
Think. What are you doing in a local parish? Killing yourself over the lives of people who are wretched dregs of society. Take the money and keep quiet. Hear the word of God, O oh, you worker of iniquity. Hear the word of God, O oh, you possessed of the devil. An oracle is within my heart concerning this, the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before your eyes. And within your eyes, you flatter yourself too much to detect your sins. The words of your mouth are evil and deceitful. You have ceased to be wise and to do good. Even on your bed, you plot evil. You have committed yourself to a sinful cause and do not reject what is wrong. Oh, servant of Satan! It's only but a short while and the wicked shall be no more. Father! Your life is in my hands. I can take it if I want to. The wicked will perish. And the Lord's enemies shall be like the beauty of the fields. They shall vanish. Vanish like smoke. time you should be able to be going home you need the rest okay sit down need some rest come on sit down sit down there will be no rest until that cancer and Aba is removed from the land yes he will be removed, but only in God's time. Children of God, I know that it is unusual for us to meet like this, especially on Saturday. Yes. But I did not call you together on a frivolous whim. We have a battle to fight. And to win 
win that fight. We have to fight it collectively. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. When I was transferred to this community, I was made to understand that you people have a great man in your midst. Yes. A man deserving of praise and accolades. He has single-handedly built the community church yes. and was financing great projects. And he had placed all the aged ones on a monthly salary. Chief Anaba was a man deserving of all the good wishes and the blessings that were poured on him. My ears were filled with tales of his philanthropy and I longed to meet him. Ah, praise be to God. I met Chief Anaba Ugomba. And God told me in no uncertain terms that Chief Anaba is not a child of God. Father, if what you have called us here to do today is to disparage Chief Anaba, I better go home and tap my pants. And God say a man who does so much is not his son. Who son is it then? So the devil. Let me go to my house and talk. You see. You see. You see. You see. I am not asking you to believe me. But our God does not speak from the different sides of the mouth. He told me in no uncertain terms that Chief Anaba is evil. I prayed upon it. I prayed upon it. And only yesterday, the revelations I was asking for were provided. Praise God. He is your son. <laughs> Chief Anaba paid Uchenna here some money to steal my cassock. <laughs> Uchenna, is it true or false? It's true. <laughs> So that they will bring the castle to Chief Anaba and they will use it in bewitching me and killing me. But praise be to God, no one can suppress the truth. I confronted Anaba this morning and he tried to bribe me. Our God does not lie. If he says Anaba is not his, then the man is not. God told me, Anaba has sold his soul for wealth in exchange to a foreign demon. Who gives him power to make money by stealing the good luck of all he gives to? Anaba has stolen your luck. In a land that is richly blessed with power, young man, only Chief Anaba is progressing. You all have received from him. You are all in penury and poverty. Oh, children of Indiago, hear me. Unless 
If Anaba releases you from the bondage he has plunged you into, or unless he is destroyed, you will remain beggars and cutters. <laughs> Father, we all know that Chief is the only one progressing. But why should we believe what you have just said? Ah, uh, praise God. But it only reads With your eyes, you shall see it. Chief Anaba has planted as a buried a ring given to him by the foreign demon he serves and a ram at the entrance of the village. Yeah. With that, he has kept you in bondage while he plunders your riches. I am not asking you to believe me, but all I ask is, we shall all go down to the village this evening yes. and dig up whatever the Holy Spirit shall show us. Our God has given us authority over us, serpent, scorpion, and all the powers of the enemy. Our God has given us authority over Satan and his legions. Our God has given us lordship of all that live on the earth. This day, you shall be released from your bondage. Yeah. And the prosperity which our God has promised shall surely become yours. Father, the wicked plot against the upright and gnash their teeth at them. But you, Lord, laughs at the wicked, for you know their day is coming. They draw their sword and bend their bow to bring down the needy and the poor, to slay those whose ways are upright. Their swords shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance to devour my flesh, when my enemies and foes attack me, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army may besiege me, my heart shall not fear. Though even war break out against me, even then shall I be confident. I must go. You will go. But remember, you cannot fight evil with evil. If you want to destroy Chief Anaba, 
you have to turn to God. He alone can destroy the works of Satan. Thank you for saving my life. God will surely reward you. My reward is to see you back on your feet. I'm already on my feet.
with evil. You do not pay evil with evil. Anaba, kneel down. Anaba, it's all over. Release the people you've held in bondage. It's the only way you can be free. Don't look at me like that. I release them now! Thank you, Father. Amen. It is the Lord's doing. The only way to take revenge is in the Lord. Father, where is that man, Anaba? He is here. Father, yes. from today henceforth, I will serve the Lord. 